All right, so this video is going to be on the best training tool ever invented, and it's it's the leash. Um, almost every single behavior problem I work with, uh, people that I work with that are dealing with behavior problems, I've heard every single thing. I've heard um, we've tried um, the squirt bottle, the shaking the cans. They've tried bopping the dog on the nose. They try, you know, uh, dogs on the couch. They use a broom. They use everything. Almost all of the behavior issues that people deal with, I mean, almost every single one of them, um, other than giving your dog too much freedom where you're allowing it into other rooms where you don't have your eyes on the dog, um, which that's just on you. Um, but if you have a leash on the dog, you can control every situation. It doesn't even matter what it is. When, when the leash is on them, you have complete control of the dog. And um, a lot of people call it tether training. Some people call it umbilical, um, umbilical training, where it's basically any new dog that you bring home, puppy, rescue, you're fostering a dog, anything. The dog doesn't know the rules of your house. Um, it doesn't know you. Um, there's a whole bunch of things that it's going to do that are going to piss you off. It's going to make a ton of, mis um, ton of mistakes, especially puppies. The potty training, same deal. You're struggling with potty training, have a leash on your dog. Um, everyone associates the leash with when they take the dog out of the house. Um, they never think to put a leash on the dog in the house. If you just take a regular nylon leash like this um, and cut it, like maybe like around three feet, but however long you want, uh, get rid of the, the, the loop on it if you're not gonna have it actually tethered to you. So tether training is literally, you, 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 you put this to your belt loop and the dog goes everywhere you wanna go. Um, or everywhere that you go, the dog it has to go with you. and. That's a great way at the beginning to teach the dog in the moment when it makes a mistake. Right, right when it makes a mistake, you can teach it something. If you don't have the leash, you're going to lose. Right now, um, I want this dog to be in this shot because um, he's super cute. If I don't have a leash on him, he runs away, it ruins everything. It's the same concept with everything. If you want to have control of the dog, you need a leash. If, you're, if you don't, you will, you'll just be negotiating, you'll be talking way too much. Um, if you understand the, from some of the other videos, the leash pressure stuff and the marking and behaviors. If you have a leash on the dog, um, especially puppies, they make so many mistakes that you're gonna you're training all day long by having the leash on them and teaching them right there in the moment. Like I said, when you have the leash on these guys for, like I said, a few weeks at, at the beginning in your house, if you can't have the leash on them and you can't have them in your sight, just put them in their crate or set up a pen area. Um, this is called setting the dog up to succeed. When when I when I get these questions or I, I hear these stories about dogs that are you know pulling diapers out of the trash or you know getting into the garbage or you know pooping and peeing on people's beds and stuff it's like I it's not to be rude but that's on you, you you're giving the dog too much freedom you're letting them out of your sight you're, you're setting them up to fail um, if you have a leash on the dog this dog is a puppy he's gonna constantly just try to eat things he's gonna constantly he's doing it right now he's just kind of chewing on the grass here they constantly make mistakes. If I don't have this leash on, I'm back to that saying no with no consequence to it. I can't use my correction song. Um, I can't hold the dog accountable. So this is just really about having the leash on the dog and, and setting yourself up to succeed. Without this, you're, 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 you're losing. It's just gonna take a lot longer. Um, someone comes to your door and you get a, a dog or a puppy that jumps on people. If the leash is always on that dog in the house and someone shows up, up unexpectedly, you can at least have the dog and you can you can put it into a sit or whatever you're whatever you're doing to prevent your jumping up on people protocol is but without the leash you're, you're literally you're just negotiating and that usually tends to without the leash the default is is when i ask the dog to do the command sit down whatever without the leash then i get frustrated and then i say my commands multiple times i start touching the dog trying to force them to do stuff and all of that kind of just like breaks the whole thing down and it's, it's usually set up for huge failures. So um, having a, a leash on your dog inside the house um, is an awesome way to set it up to succeed. So I hope that, uh, I hope that some of you take that information and, and use it because almost every question I get asked about how to correct the behavior can be corrected with just this simple tool. Best tool ever invented, use it.